Good Friday Eve, everybody. Two seconds. See what's happening in the world. How are you this morning? I've got my coffee. Actually ready, 20 minutes before I need to be. So it's not me what's going, what's late this morning. So I'm going to drink my coffee, watch the news and relax. Got a headache this morning and I fell out of bed last night. Not good. I was kind of sleeping right on the edge of the bed and I got cramp and as you jump for the cramp I fell out of bed so fail and it hurt too anyway moving on Okay guys, we'll just join us now, we're halfway to Christmas, allegedly. Yes, and also the news today is, no we're not halfway to Christmas, don't go running to your calendar. Uh, we're halfway to saving up for Christmas, that's kind of what I was saying. Um, yeah, oh yeah, the news today, apparently it doesn't matter if you wash your hands in hot water or cold water, it just makes no difference whatsoever kills the same amount of bacteria and revelation antibacterial soaps no better than ordinary soap apparently so con anyway with that we need to get off because there's some traffic lights so as I expected caught by the traffic lights and yeah we threw them still got a big hole though that. Don't fill that in, that'll be dangerous that. Not as dangerous as that one. Anyway, we're through. No excuse now, we've got to go to work. <sighs> Moving on. And here we are. Yep, another day. Yep, time to throw me out so I can go and get ready for my audit. <laughs> Okay, I shall see you guys after the working day is over. So pass over to Michelle. Okay guys, this is the first one for us. Black. 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 <laughs> no, I was, what reason I'm thinking I got mis confused then black well I had black widow in my mind. Lego brickheads. So it's almost like pop vinyls in Lego. So how much are they? Uh, ten pounds. Ten pounds for build the Lego of Black Widow. Black Widow. Not that I'm into Black Widow, I mean, she doesn't do anything for me. To be honest. Moving on. Okay, guys, that's the working day over with. For me. That's my Friday done. Because I am going to hospital tomorrow. I have an appointment at hospital to have surgery on my kidney. No, you're not having surgery on your kidney. I am, they're going to put things inside me and take things out of me. It's having that? kidney stones removed. That's surgery. It's not on your kidney though. Kidney surgery is way, way more scary than what you're having done. If they slip... It could very well be kidney surgery, that's a fair point. They're sticking a laser beam up me. In me. It's major surgery. Major. I'm going to be in hospital all day, that's major. Anyway, we've just been shopping. I shall show you the journey to the shop. Which is the fact I've already recorded it. And we're off home now, in the rain. Miserable day. Still got a headache. That's like two days this week I've had a headache. All told, it's got a bit of dehydration. And um, wait, all I can say here. Yeah. So let's get home. We've got our shopping in for the weekend. That's us. Don't need to do anything for this weekend. Michelle's out, and I'll probably be recuperating after my mammoth surgery. Major, major, major risk taking surgery. Open heart surgery. Remember, I'm a bloke, it's always worse than it should be. So it 
beast man surgery. Anyway, moving on. that's us here here home we've had tea uh, I've done an hour of editing shouting at the PC because I've lost I've lost 12 minutes of footage so I do apologize for uh, the Hollywood uh, Indiana Jones because you can't quite see the action from the camera shot I had I had a camera pointing one way and a camera pointing the other way and for some reason the GoPro will record for 17 minutes 42 seconds and it starts another file and after 17 minutes 42 seconds it didn't start a third file so I hold my hand like that for 12 minutes for nothing so we've kind of lost it it's right at the end so I do apologize but you'll probably seen it before but I'm just gonna put it up as a almost unedited different views cameras I need to zoom in and do things so it's going to be exporting though for two hours, so I don't think I'll get it done today. Oh, so what I might do is uh, I want to take tomorrow from the hospital. Yeah, either that or if we're home early enough, I can, I can do the editing and get it in. Okay, so we'll leave it at that. Now, now Michelle's just unbox something without, without you guys. I know, spoo. Over to Michelle. Harry Potter. Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone 20th Anniversary Slytherin Edition. Doesn't it look awesome? And it's got the it's got the house colours on the side and it's got the the title Two page. seconds, we need light. Title pages and everything in green. You should be able to see it fine. Yeah, well, maybe. I um, can't see it. It must be my eyes. And the bloody baron on the back. And it just looks absolutely awesome. I'm so chuffed with it. I'm hoping they're going to bring out a whole set. You know, every time the 20th anniversary of, of a, one of the Harry Potter books comes up so I can get the whole set with the same with the same black and green. And it'll look awesome if I ever get around to eventually getting my library sorted out because they'll just be all on the shelf and they'll just look cool. Could you get that in any house colours? Uh, yeah, yeah, you can. They've released an edition for it with in each house colour. So the yellow, the, the Hufflepuff one's obviously yellow and black and the uh, Ravenclaw one's blue and grey and the Gryffindor one's red and yellow. So, But I am a Slytherin and I read books and Alan doesn't read books and he's not a Slytherin. That's because I'm a Ravenclaw. He, he, got yeah. some, he got sorted, he is a Ravenclaw. So. Please tell me what that means. In the comments below. <laughs> so, you chuffed? Has it got pictures in it? Um, it's got some pictures in it. It has, so I can read some of it. It's got... Harry Potter. 
20 years ago, God. 20 years since Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone was released. So you was a lot younger than you and I. I was 12. Did you read it when you was 12? No, believe it or not, I didn't read... I didn't read any of the Harry Potter books until Goblet of Fire was out on paperback and I picked up Goblet of Fire in the big W as was near the college I went to when I was 16. I was looking for something to read on the train on the way home. This is pre-ebook days. This is how far back I'm going here. This is before Kindle was invented. And uh, um, people had said that they were really good and the front cover looked all right. And I didn't realise at the time that they were a series, so I just picked up Goblet of Fire because it was the thickest one there and I'd read really quickly. And it wasn't until I realised, it wasn't until I was about a third of the way through Goblet of Fire that I realised that it's written in years, obviously, and I'd obviously not read the first three, so I had to go back and read the first three. And so an obsession was born. I pre-ordered the last three, Order of the Phoenix, Half-Blood Prince, Deathly Hallows. I went to... I, did, I went to a midnight, a midnight uh, collection of Order of the Phoenix, but I went on my own. I went to the midnight collection of Half-Blood Prince, and I went with Amy. And I was too sick to attend the midnight release of Deathly Hallows. And my mum and dad went to Asda out in Peterhead and bought it for me like really late at night they went and they picked it up when they when they um, put them on sale went out and picked it up and brought it home and it was waiting for me when I woke up the next morning I, I think I had just, like a stomach bug or something like that and I that was at Christmas time was it? no that wasn't that that wasn't that Christmas mm-hmm. um, because I, I remember I, I, I mean I read it straight through the whole day I was sat in we sat in a pub waiting in Aberdeen waiting for Elizabeth. I can't remember why I was waiting for Elizabeth or where we were going or what we were doing. And uh, everybody wanted to tell everybody in the pub kept coming up and telling me to tell them how it ended and I wouldn't do it. Why would I spoil something like that for people? So yeah. So yeah, like I say, I am I am really chuffed. It's it's gorgeous, and I'm really looking forward to the possibility of being able to get the whole set because that would mean I have the whole set. So you've now got the whole paperbacks. You've got the. Uh... I've got the whole the whole set of children's editions, but the first four are paperback, and the last three are hardback because I got them the d- the day they were released, um, and I've also got. Philosopher's Stone in the Slytherin 20 year anniversary edition now and I've also got Philosopher's Stone and Chamber of Secrets in the big illustrated version Amy keeps buying me them for my birthday and so, the audio books and I have all the audio books and I have all the films and I'm pretty much I must just sound like the dullest person alive yet you've not read the last one. The Cursed Child. That and the film they just made, which I can't remember the name of. Fantastic Beasts and Where That's the one. Them. You've not read that textbook, have you? I've read the textbook. So I've, got, read I've, got, I've got the textbook version of Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them that they released for Comic Relief. I also have Tales of Beedle the Bard, which I have read. And there was a third one as well. I'm sure there was. There was Fantastic Beasts, there was Tales of Beedle the Bard, and I'm sure they released a third one as well, although I might be making it up in wishful thinking that. But I haven't read the based on the movie version of Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, although it is on my Kindle, it is on my Amazon wish list. And I haven't read Cursed Child. Which is the play, isn't it? Which is the play, yeah. And Amy's really disappointed that I haven't read it because she saw it last night on her honeymoon. She saw both parts and she wanted to talk with me about it, but she can't because I haven't read it. So she says she's going to lend me her copy and I have to read it so she can talk to me about it. Otherwise you will get beaten up. 
No, it's not that. I'll, it's not that I'll get beaten up. It's just the idea of a play version. Just I don't know why. It's just, just something about it that just doesn't appeal to me, which is why I, I haven't, I haven't bought it. I haven't read it. Um, but for the sake of completeness, from you know, for having the whole the whole lot of books, I probably should buy both, read both. But uh, I'm currently call yourself a Harry Potter fan. I know. I know. Yeah, call yourself a Slytherin. What can I say? I'm a I'm a diehard I'm a diehard fan of the original, except no imitations. Anyway, and there you go, salute the geek. That's why we get geek boxes. Salute the geek. Mom and Dad's thing. The geek salute. Okay, with that, it's uh, getting on a little bit. We've got to get up super early tomorrow so Michelle can drop me off. So, I don't particularly want to sit here and watch a Beverly Allert documentary again. That's what, you, that's what you're watching, is it? It is, yeah, but I didn't realise it was again. I thought this was something different. Oh, it might be something different, but it's the same story, isn't it? Yeah, I was thinking that. That's why I sort of stopped it after, like, 12 minutes. Yeah. Well, anyway... Going to drink our cup of tea. So I'm drinking a cup of tea at a chance mug. Michelle's drinking it out of a school mug. Voldemort mug. Voldemort mug. And then once we've drunk our cup of tea, I think we'll go to... I think we'll kind of retire. Because we're up, like I said, we're up extremely early tomorrow so Michelle can drop me off and then still make it into work because she's got to go through time. So with that, I'll say a good night from me. And a good night from him. Good night. See y'all in the morning. It's Friday. You go to work. I go and get major surgery. What could end in pain, pain, and pain. It'll probably definitely end in tears for me. You'll be asleep. Wimp. It'll be fine. It's not that. I'll still be embarrassed. Anyway, moving on. <laughs>